started working on freedom to the slave makers, we kind of had a feeling that we needed to take this band to the next step. A very long process of, of, uh, of us coming to terms with everything and, and liking everything and, and, and wanting to be the best that we, we can make. And make this album stand out. to approach it with a more natural uh, state of mind. Take a close inspection of the way we were writing songs or producing them. And really try and break those patterns out. Try to make it better, make work better for us and for, this, and for the new sound we're looking for. We recorded in Tel Aviv, our hometown. The sound engineer was like he's a good friend of ours and like had the best atmosphere. We hooked up with Warren Riker through MySpace. We were really happy to jump on the opportunity to work with the guy. Everyone immediately agreed on the, the second we got the first sketch. I think his work really complemented everything we did in the studio. People naturally assume that a metal band from Israel has to be political. Once you open up the album, listen to the music and, and really read the lyrics, you, you understand that it's talking about something completely different. The, the assumption that everyone is, is his own uh, slave maker. Breaking out of old thought patterns and really setting your mind free. It also discusses the process of making music itself. It's really honest and uh, brutally honest actually and I think that really captured the, the true essence of what's so special and cool about this band. When we get together, there's, there's, there's this magic that happens and uh, we really wanted to capture this magic. So see you in the mosh pit, guys. Yeah, see you in the mosh pit, guys.